Tonight, the first vaping related death has been reported in Georgia, but this man's death is different than the 10 others we've heard about. Plus, it's also the first in the South, most Georgia and Florida recorded deaths today. John Sherrick is looking into what made this man's death so unusual. Here's what we know from state health officials. The Georgia man who died is different from most of the other victims nationwide. He was older, he'd been a smoker, but quit six years ago, then became a heavy user of a nicotine-based vaping product. And Lee Hundley of the Georgia Department of Public Health tells me that the man's autopsy showed that he died not from his cigarette use, but from vaping with a form of pneumonia less than a month after he began feeling sick. Now researchers are trying to learn everything they can about the man's vaping history. He was purchasing his products from a vape shop, uh, you, the same place every time. It sounds like the same product itself every time, only using nicotine vape products. Vaping industry marketers still believe that the hundreds of illnesses and 11 deaths across the country were caused by the users vaping bootleg THC products containing unknown fatal substances and that the patients have been ashamed to admit that that's what they were vaping. Just this week, Athens Clark County Police tell us they seized more than 2,000 illegal vape cartridges made to look like legitimate THC products from California where THC is legal. But police say these cartridges were homemade and contained several unknown chemicals. On 11 Alive's Facebook post about the Georgia death, comments like this one. Cigarette smoking is responsible for hundreds of thousands of deaths per year in the United States. Why all the attention on a relative few vaping-related deaths? One poster responded, yes, that's bad, but the questions and issues around vaping need answers with the types of illnesses and quick deaths that are happening. A mystery the state and the CDC are racing to solve. We know that all these patients are linked by their vaping history and as a result we are saying you know stop vaping. Otherwise health officials expect illnesses and deaths will continue to climb from these mysterious vaping illnesses.